Hey guys, Tom Wick 601 and well, it's finally happened. Weimar received its ban hammer. Uh, Wargaming has officially announced it will no longer be sold in the store come the end of this update. So we're going to talk about that and uh, we'll have a fun little Kraken game in it because, well, there's a reason it's no longer being sold in the store. First things first, though, I do want to mention you may hear a little bit extra echo in the voice today. Currently redoing the office and uh, we're trying to get a couple videos preloaded uh, before we finish out. And what that means is sound deadening and stuff isn't up like it usually is, which means, uh, well, uh, you'll hear a little bit more echo. And I do apologize. We are working on that. Anyways, enemy York pops up and we're going to start engaging him. We've decided to go around the outside of C because, well, uh, that's kind of where Weimar is happy. Weimar, of course, it isn't, it is an OP ship, but it does have its counters and its counters, the fact that it's a York hull and therefore it doesn't have much armor. So if you decide to be out there in the open to be seen, well, you can be shot, and that's exactly what we don't want. We want to be on the periphery. We want to be on the perimeter, and we want to kind of control the terms of engagements and make sure they are favorable to us, and that is exactly what we are going to do right here. So we're going to go around the outside of C. This allows us to get a good broadside on anyone who has pushed into C and also kind of helps us control the cap without exposing ourselves too much because we get to maintain both the island of this cup uh, the cover of this island that is off to our right hand side and the cover of the island that is off to our forwards anyways we're working our way of getting around this island because there is an icarus that is lit up and uh, if there's one thing we love to do is to chunk down destroyers we are well within range under five kilometers and that means we are just going to chunk him away we do have our plane up to try to keep spot on any enemies over that island and of course we do drop spot of the icarus here and that means we do want to go ahead pop our sonar turn in avoid the torpedoes that we know are coming uh icarus did end up going down sadly we didn't get the kill but york right there for the taking and he is somewhat broadside though he is definitely turning out but more importantly he's not paying attention to us so that gives us the liberty to go ahead and swing our derriere straight towards him and uh, start engaging we are using the ap right now and we're seeing middling results so i think we're going to flip on over to he kind of hoping he would flip back to being broadside because you can absolutely chunk some ships when you have a broadside and ap but now that we have the he we have that beautiful quarter pen you know weimar she's a powerful ship and we end up taking out the york right there byron is the only ship left on this flank and uh we're Almost up full health. We did have a cruiser decide to to kind of charge mid, and he ended up losing his life. But now, Byron is where it's at. We don't have spotting on him from our plane, but we do have a spot on him. We kind of just want to let him come into range. We can see he's nose in to us right in here, and if he wants to come closer, we will happily get in closer and make it harder for him to dodge the torpedoes that we know are coming. He's within four kilometers. That's when we can be like, okay, he's either uh, going to start turning out and we need to go ahead and start closing in. So full speed ahead, let's go ahead and push in. We do still have our sonar going, but that's not really gonna help us. We're gonna kind of load in and turn on in. There has been that kind of bug as of recently that has made it more difficult to shoot close range ships that are traveling quickly. We do end up taking a couple hits from him here, but not too many. We get off our starboard side uh torpedo tubes they look beautiful at this point we're just firing for effect because those torpedoes are not going to knock him down and that is that side taken care of and we are now going to kind of move into sea and cap it we can see that this this game on shards has become the traditional c versus a kind of side and now it's all going to come down to who can control b more effectively and we want that to be us we want to get in range and that's exactly what we're going to do now, while all this goes on, because this is going to be a little bit of some boring time, let's go ahead and talk about what's happening. This is uh, one of the most recent times I can think of, and I think one of the few times we have ever seen a premium ship removed from the store in World of Warships Legends. And what does that mean? It means the ship has probably been just a bit too overtuned, a bit too powerful, 
and the way that Wargaming has decided to rein its power in is to control the number of people that own the ship. Now, you may be saying, but Tommy, the cat's already out of the bag. Yes, but there is a lot more cats about to come into the bag. Of course, we do have the mobile version of World of Warships Legends coming this way. We know crossplay divisions are on this way. Both of these things should see boosted player, new player numbers coming in. And what better way to control and make sure that not too powerful a ship is out there, but to remove it from the shop. Now, could they have nerfed the ship? Yes, but I think that's get that gets into a weird bag of worms. Of course, Wargaming could, and I wouldn't be too upset about them nerfing a premium ship. Yes, you paid money for it and you expect it. And, you know, I don't really have a leg to stand there on because I am one of the CCs and get these ships for free from Wargaming. And I was someone who didn't really spend the money on the ship. But I do still have the belief that a balanced game is more important uh, than is the most important thing. And if we can't have that, then we're just kind of really seeing ourselves at a deficit and it's not really benefiting us. But that's my kind of personal opinion. But the way that Wargaming is choosing to do this, rein in the number of people that can purchase the ship by ending its availability for sale. So with all of that said, if you don't have Weimar and you think you're interested in it, now is the time because I can very much see this becoming the next Jean Bart, the next ship that finds itself as a super prize, ultra rare crate drop ship because that's exactly what I would be doing if I was in Wargaming's shoes, if I'm being honest. Anyways, we've captured C, we're moving into B. We know there's a Flint at B. Of course, Flint high rate of fire, Atlanta with smoke. It can be a little dangerous for us, but we need to get into B. If we don't control B, one, we are down a significant number of ships. Uh, we need to take B to have a chance. We are down. And two, uh, this coming in controlling B is the way you win these matches. Anyways, we are nose in. We kind of flirt with the idea of flipping over to AP because if we can get our AP to land in pen, Flint does essentially have a destroyer grade armor. And when it shows its broadside like that, it does get deleted, bringing us up to three kills for the match. There's a York at very low health. We're going to try to remove him off the map, bring us to, well, now in parity with the enemy as far as ships remaining. So that is what we're going to try to do. Of course, York probably at the advantage a little on this uh, engagement just because he is going to have much flatter, quicker fi firing shells, and he should be able to dodge us relatively easy. We're trying to get um, him dialed in, but we're also just trying if we can to be able to cap B or at least now we are contesting it. So they aren't gaining as big of a points advantage. We have found ourselves a little stuck on the Island kind of uh, focused in on attempting to be able to, to finish off this York because we do have two relatively low health ships right here. And if we can knock them out, we will be setting ourselves up for success. And that's exactly what we want to do. Unfortunately, we do, now have two fires on the ship, and we are desperately just trying to hit this York. Of course, long range, we get the fire, hoping that that little bit of damage just pushes him over and takes him out. But sadly, he does end up putting it out. We're going to go ahead and re-engage the York. We want to get these ships knocked off the map. We take a massive salvo from the enemy battleship there, of course, showing off just how weak Weimar can be. But Gorky is now out in open water. Shells are down. We end up getting the double strike and the Kraken, and we go down to fire. Uh, leaving a 1v1. Thankfully for us, our team ends up pulling through in the end. But guys, that is our game. If you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. What do you think about the Weimar no longer being sold? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, guys, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. See ya.